Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lala. Hi, welcome, welcome to my channel. And if you're returning, and hey, what's up? How you doing? So today's video is exciting because we are doing a luxury shoe haul and unboxing. Luxury shoe review haul unboxing. So far this year, I have made three <laughs> three luxury shoe purchases. Yeah, on this channel, we like to dabble in a little bit of luxury, a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of everything, you know? All right, so if you guys are interested and you wanna see my luxury shoe unboxing, haul, review video, then just keep on watching. So for today's video, I am sipping on a little Sauvignon Blanc because my dog is being so needy. He's literally right here by my feet. He's not listening and he's getting on my last nerve, so I'm unwinding. Okay, first up, we have my new Jimmy Choo's. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I wanna say it's called Sade or Sada. I don't know how to say it, but we are gonna call it Sade, the Sade 100s. So I did purchase these in New York at Saks Fifth Avenue. I didn't have room in my suitcase for the box, so I had to leave the box there at the hotel, but I did bring it home in dust bags. So this is my beautiful shoe right here. They are pumps. When I went on the website to get the information for this video, I saw that they had an open toe version and I was like, that's interesting. I feel like those will probably be more comfortable to walk in. We're gonna get there, but as you can see, it is suede material, nice and soft. It has the crystal detail in the back. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. And then this little diamond that dangles. It's just so classy, so beautiful. I don't know. And one thing I noticed about this shoe is that they keep a V pattern. So it's like a deep V here. And then there's a V here, the V here just something I noticed and I think that's very creative. I love little extra random details like that. All right, now for the details. This shoe retails for $1,095. They have these in different colors, different styles. It seems like most of them are the same price, but they do have like special ones with the crystals all over the front. Those retail for $1,995. So if you are interested in getting this shoe, what you should know is that they run small. This is my exact size in designer shoes. This is a 41. In all of my other shoes, there is a little tiny bit of space. Like there's some type of room. You know what I mean? Like it fits, but there's like a little tiny bit of space, which makes it fit perfect to me, to my liking. But these are like my exact foot, like to the edge is where the end of my heel is. It's like exact. So I do wish I was able to size up. I mean, I was, but I didn't want to wait and order it online and have it shipped to my house because I wanted to wear them the same night that I got them. So I went ahead and got the 41, but in the future, if I get another pair, which I do want, I will get a 41 and a half if they do have sizes. I don't know, this is my first Jimmy Choo shoe. Ooh, it's getting hot over here. It's the wine. I feel like it's a very elegant shoe. It's very special occasion. Like I got it thinking I can just wear it whenever I want, but now that I have it, I realize that you cannot do that with this shoe. First of all, it's very sensitive. It's suede, so you can't wear it in the rain. You can't wear it if you're doing too much of like walking on something with texture. I was walking somewhere here and they had cracks and the heel went in a crack and I already got a little piece of damage right there on the suede, if you guys could see it. Yeah, so, and I don't wanna ruin the stones, so I'm just not gonna wear it too often, which is unfortunate because I've been trying to stick with shoes that I know I can wear whenever I want, but I really did love this shoe, so it's okay. I'm glad I have it. I would just wear it if I know I'm not gonna be doing too much because I don't wanna damage them any more than I already have. So as far as comfort goes, I've heard mixed reviews about this shoe from the videos that I've seen. I've seen more so that people don't like walking in them. They feel like they are very uncomfortable. And I've seen a few where they feel like it's, you know, they feel like it's the most comfortable shoe in the world. For me, I'm a little bit in between, okay? I've only worn these twice. So, the first time I wore them in New York when I got them, they felt a little uncomfortable, but then again that day my knee was hurting, so I was like, 
I'm like, this is not a fair day to judge it. Plus we were in New York. We didn't do that much walking. We literally, we didn't do that much walking. We didn't do that much walking. But so I gave it a second chance when I got back home to Miami, we went out and it was better for me here. But then again, I did less walking that day than the day I wore it in New York. So, so I got like a mix of both. Like I got the uncomfortable feeling in them and I got the cool, like they're not that bad feeling in them. But I'm gonna make sure to only wear them to places where I'm getting out the car, going in a restaurant, coming back in a car. You guys heard me say this before about red bottoms. <laughs> but yes, it's a beautiful shoe. I love the shoe, I'm happy to have it, but it is a sensitive shoe. Definitely consider that before you get it because you gotta watch out, you gotta take care of them. It is my first closed toe shoe though, so maybe that's another reason why it's not the most comfortable for me. But yeah, we gonna rock it, we gonna work with it. Love that shoe. Next we have another pair of shoes, which is our unboxing for today. This is my first time purchasing from Forward, okay? I heard about it from another influencer and she was like how she got those shoes I just showed you, she got them on sale there, but like a different color. Anyway, I found this shoe and I'm gonna show it to ya. So it comes in a box like this, straight from UPS. Now these are Amina Muwadi. I hope I'm saying it right. And this brand has a very popular style shoe. I'll pop it up here. If you've seen this shoe before, yes, that's that's this brand. So I've been on forward for like a month, peeking and looking to see what my first purchase was gonna be. And this is the shoe that won me. When I was opening this the first time, I was so in love with the dust bags. Look at how pretty. So pretty. Like when I opened this for the first time, it was such an experience. I was so happy. So this is my new Amina Muwadi shoe. This is called the Kim Patent Heel. The Kim Patent Sandal. These are brand new forward sales, brand new shoes. So fresh, so clean. Oh. Yes, sit. So these are in the color bubble. I went on the website, they do have other colors. There was no standard set price for this shoe, like because they were all different colors and leathers. This specific shoe retails for $8.25, but I got it on sale for $537. But when I went back on the website, it was even like lower. Now it's only going for $4.95, so. That kind of sucks, but I mean, uh, a few bucks different, you know? But on the website, there was no standard price. I saw them from anywhere between $860 and $1,090. As soon as I tried this shoe on, I fell in love with this part here because the toe stops, I'm gonna try it on so you guys can see it, but the toe stops like a, about here and then the rest is just, I don't know, but I love that I just love that about it. The shoe fits perfect. I haven't worn them yet. Hopefully before this video goes up, I wear them so I can, you know, let you guys know how, if they're uncomfortable or if they're comfortable, you know, they look comfortable. The heel's not too high, it's a four inch heel. So, it's so pretty. I was expecting a, like on the website, the pink looked more like a cool tone. And even in the camera, it looks a little cool. But in person, it's more hot. Like it's giving hot pink, like neon in person. And it is patent, as you can see, it has like this shiny patent leather. And I love how the heel, they keep that shape. Like even though it's not as wide out as the other Amina Muwadi heels, they still keep that shape on this shoe, even though it's a little heel. And it did come with extra heels. One thing that I noticed, and I'm not sure about this, but I'm guessing that they named these heels after celebrities because this one is called Kim and it gives me Kim Kardashian. And I remember hearing that Amina worked with Kim of like some sort of work relationship they had. I don't remember specifically, but yeah. And they have another shoe called Lupita. It looks like something Lupita would wear. And they have another shoe called Re. It looks like something Rihanna would wear. So I'm like, are they naming these shoes after celebrities? I don't know if you guys know, comment down below. Let me know if I'm right. But that's the vibe I was getting. Last but not least, baby, the Chanel, the Chanel, okay? These Chanel bags is a bad habit. Well, it's, it's shoes, but 
I got these on my birthday. <laughs> the Amina Mawadi I just got, like I just ordered them, they arrived this past week. The Jimmy Choo I got in New York on the 10th of April. These babies right here I got on my birthday, January 29th. So unlike the other two shoes I just showed you all, these are sneakers. I got these from Nordstrom. It came with a booklet, I think. I didn't read it. A little card from Nordstrom. Some black laces, which I want to put in. Like, I'm so glad it came with these. It's such an experience every time I open them. Ooh! So this is the Chanel Sport Runner in white and black. I heard people call them trainers. Maybe they have two names, I don't know. But on my receipt, it says Sports Runner. So I assume they're called Sports Runners. On the box, it doesn't have a name. It just says sneaker, black and white, so. <laughs> so you guys can see them up close. I have worn them a few times already. This part here is suede. There's some suede lining along the shoe. This part here is like whatever that material is. It's like kind of like a clothy netted cotton, I guess. And then this here is, I don't know what you would call this material. He's given like a, like a windbreaker jacket type of material, like sweatpants or something. And then this here looks like patten. So Chanel there, Chanel on the inside. Even the double C's at the bottom, come on. I've been wanting these forever. I think this is my favorite shoe that I own. Like over, ooh, I was gonna say over my Tom Ford heels. I don't know, I can't pick a, a favorite between the two. So this is one of my favorites, definitely in my top favorite purchases. I could be wrong, but I think this shoe is hard to get in store because I remember going in stores and trying to like, even if I wasn't buying it, I would look to see if I saw it and I did not see it for anything. But on my birthday, it was so easy. We just walked in the store, we saw them and I got them. So I'm like, okay. But the sales associate did say something about they don't have them often. I mention that because online, the pricing for these is all over the place. Like I didn't know where I put my receipts. So I was trying to get the retail price online it was all over the place. So, according to my receipt from Nordstrom, this shoe was $1,175. But online, you know, people get these and they resell them. And I saw them for as high as 1,700 bucks. There were a few different, like this shoe, but like in different colors, I saw it for like 2,000. Like people are reselling these at way higher prices than what you can buy them for in the store. So for comfort, I feel like they're very comfortable. I have them in a size 40. That's a size down from what I usually wear in designer, but this is a sneaker. So I feel like even in regular US sizes, my sneaker size is smaller than my heels. I always have to get like a size 10 in US sizes. And in my sneakers, I get like an eight and a half. So this is a size 40. They fit me perfectly. I have room. I've worn these to the airport more than once. I wore them in New York with all the walking. Of course, in New York, you're doing all that walking. We did a lot of walking the day that I wore these. I was ready to kick them off then, but it's New York, so yeah. But any other time, I have not had any issue with these shoes. I just, I don't know, they go with so much. I'm not a sneaker person, but I've been trying to get sneakers and these have been the only style of sneaker on this planet that I've wanted. Like for my next sneaker, I'm gonna get these shoes again, but a different color, obviously. But so that is all the shoes that I have to show you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you came here searching for one of these shoes specifically, I'm giving you thumbs up, get them. Just be mindful with the Jimmy Choo. That's all I got to say. Be mindful with that shoe. The Chanel sneakers, a go. Go, go get them. The Amina Mawadi, hopefully they're comfortable to walk in and hopefully I wear them in time to pop in and let you guys know how they fit. If you haven't done so already, please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have any of these shoes that I mentioned today, or if you're planning on getting them, let me know if you get them. Let me know whatever you want in the comments. I wanna hear it all. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.